kind of surprised uh, we don't hear about Suzanne Vega. She started off so promising with, you know, really kind of superior lyrics and a uh, non-BS, I don't give a crap about commercial attitude. And she was strong out of the gate. In this interview from uh, August 17, 1987, 36 years ago, well, Rona Elliott <laughs> talks to her about Madonna. I'm laughing because you know what? I'm pretty sure we'd all jump in the Suzanne Vega line instead of the Madonna line at this point. Catch that train, guys. Europeans had already bought almost a million copies of Suzanne Vega's albums before The New Yorker had a hit at home. Now that's changed with her second album, Solitude Standing. It's a major success, and her single, Luca, which deals with child abuse, proves she's a writer willing to stray from the beaten path. Yeah, well, I like to get to the point in a song, and I like to take people by surprise a little bit. There's a couple of people who said they bought the album because they thought it was like a, a song, a, a fairly cheerful song about it, maybe a slightly clumsy kid, you know, and then they read the lyrics and they were completely, <laughs> you know, it kind of turned, turned them around a little bit. My name is... During your recent Carnegie Hall debut, you actually said it was not the first time you performed in the hall, though. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you can consider the first time, but, you know, I guess the first time I'd ever been on a stage singing, that was, I was at Carnegie Hall, I was sitting at Pete Seeger's feet while he sang, you know, Guantanamera. And how old were you? <laughs> I was 12. The Folkies would like to claim you as one of their own, but I just don't hear it, maybe in your roots, but not in your music right now. I'm not a traditional folk singer. I'm not a rock and roll singer either. And I think that's something I'm really coming to terms with is that I'm... I'm never going to be either sort of Pat Benatar. I like the idea that I could still be a folky and still be successful. That's, that's something I think is, is important, and I do keep that in mind when I write songs, is that I try and keep the element of what I feel to be folk music, which is a melody and lyrics um, that mean something. Do you consider yourself a poet at heart? I must say that I get a lot of satisfaction out of putting what I feel are the right words to the right music. Um, and that's why I do it. It's not because I, I think I'm a great poet or anything. It's just, it makes me, it makes me happy. I, I get satisfaction, like the way some people work on uh, crossword puzzles. That's the way I work at, at songs. It's like, uh, it makes me feel really good when I put the last detail in and I go, yes. <laughs> I remember, you know, even being, you know, six or seven and, and feeling that observing eye. And, um, you know, like in, in, in plays, you know, I was always the narrator. That's, they always pick Suzanne to be the narrator because, you know, she can read well. And so I was never one of the, act, you know, the, the people doing the, the scenes in, in the middle of the stage. I was always on the side. Traditionally be called a romantic format. They're rather impersonal. I mean, they're not traditional love songs. In fact, if I'm going to bother to write a song, I should try and write it from an, an angle or a point of view that hasn't been heard from before. And, you know, I guess when you get down to it, you know, Everyone feels that their own love story is different and more dramatic than everybody else's, um, you know. <laughs> but I, I have my doubts. <laughs> On stage, you perform with a sort of kind of a poker face or a deadpan look. Do you look at Madonna running around a corset and say, "Oh, soon I'll be able to do that"? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> um, so in the 90s, how would you like to see Suzanne Vega? Kind of tough and cool and vulnerable, or tell me. I'd still like to be somebody en enigmatic, you know. I, I mean, I hope the whole thing isn't sort of just played out to the hilt by that point, you know. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see what happens. Suzanne Vega is currently on tour in the Midwest, playing to sold-out audiences. Brian? I said welcome back at the top. How was the Soviet Union? You liked it? It was incredible. Either I go way. back. Thanks for watching, Cleveland Live Music. It's awfully bright out here. I'd click on another one of my videos. Quit looking into the sun. Your mother told you not to do that. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel more, there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Ooh. Ooh!